Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for the Happy Father's Day episode of Bob TV brought to you live from the shop. Oh yeah, you guys check that out. Monica sent me that. <laughs> cam legs. B1 Bob flies, cam legs, jets. Is that cool or what? Anyway, back to the box. I know what you guys are thinking. What is a box in there? What is in that box? Bob don't got something. No, I'm going to show you. Today, on this episode of Bob TV, everyone is going to learn how to build a Phil O Vision box. Okay? Now, I went to the trouble of designing this. For you guys out there because I go through the trouble of broadcasting this in Philo Vision. So you guys need some Philo Vision boxes, so I made up a little instructional video for you. Okay? First of all, page number one. Get you a box. Okay? See that? <laughs> you gotta get your box. Okay. Page number two. Put a hole in the box. Okay. That's fairly simple. Bam. Batman stuff. Bam. You guys a hole in the box. Okay, and you guys be careful, don't cut yourself. It's gotta be a pretty decent sized hole, that way you can have bigger stuff. Okay. And page number three, add stuff. Okay, so well, what do we need to add? Well, you know here in the shop we go through a wide range of Stuff. So I already got some different grits of my sandpaper in there. Gotta have some rough stuff, gotta have some fine stuff. I got some fiberglass stuck to a piece of tape. We just want to hang this stuff on the side, people. So I got some light. This is my what I use the glass stuff with. This is three quarter ounce. Twenty years ago I bought a six hundred dollar roll of that or six hundred yard roll for four hundred bucks. And uh, I probably got 300 yards left. <laughs> but uh, that is three quarter ounce. I got some 10 ounce. I got my heavy 60 ounce. Okay, we're just going to take this on the back. Okay. And you guys can construct your own box and put it beside your computer. And when I'm making my movies, you just stick your hand inside that box and you can feel what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright? Alright. Now, what all do we need in that box? Well, you gotta have something light. A little piece of tar foam. And if we're gonna have something light, gotta have something heavy. So I got like a vice. Gotta have something heavy in there. Gotta have something light. Now, I rigged up something smooth, okay, and inside of the smooth container, we got some slimy, okay, <laughs> I'm just going to have a little dish soap in there, and put the lid back on it, or when you need to fill something slimy, you just take the lid off, okay, we got a little candle for the waxy feel, okay, Oh, uh, okay, I'll just have a sponge. Just for something feel spongy. Okay. What else could we put in there? Oh, here we go. Something squeezy. And we got a clamp. And let's see. It really can't be a man feel o vision box because it's got a couple of these in it. Now, this year, the size can vary to yourself. <laughs> I like the small ones. Put them in there. <laughs> and let's see. That's it. That's it. And now, when I'm making my own, we can put something, something like that in there. Little piece of paper towel. And that way, when I'm making my videos, you could just. Stick your hand in there and feel what I'm talking about. See? <laughs> but construct your own boxes, people, and 
Let's get to it. Don't make me waste broadcasting and television. All right, now I'm going to show you a little bit of the cougar before we go. And, uh, man, I've about got this ready for paint day. I don't know if I'm going to have it painted by tomorrow, but it's been a, it's been a hard to build there, but not hard, just a lot of stuff. Check out these flaps, man. These flaps are kind of a pain. These are them huge old body flaps. They're just massive. They're huge. Okay. And uh, what I did is I... I uh, cut, the, cut it out. And I've added this wood. I went from a half inch all the way down to an eighth inch and had to keep that same taper. And uh, a couple of them funny cuts. And uh, man, it was uh, quite the chore. I did that all yesterday. And once I got one fit, then I just cut out the, traced it for the other one. And uh, once I got this one, I had all my, or that other one, I had all my parts for this one. I did that one yesterday and I'm working on this one today, but fixing to have a Father's Day cookout, so I think the building's done for the day. I'll have it ready tomorrow. I'll be a day late, but that's my life story. Day late, dollar short. <laughs> you know what I mean? Happy Father's Day to everyone out there. I know y'all was just sitting around waiting for them kids to call, hoping Bob loads the movie. <laughs> Won't be long, people. Fix and be back on that bomber hard. Just be a little patient with me. I got it. This is my buddy. Remember that. You know, you got to do stuff for your friends. Help them out when they need it. John, not a real fast builder. He can do it, but that would take him two years. I can bust it out in a couple weeks and just, you know, help a friend, you know. And uh, he's, he's just sitting back giggling, people. <laughs> He's giggling like a little school girl watching this be built. But check this out. This is how I did these speed brakes. Check out these big old speed brakes. Bam! And I used one of these step bits to, to drill all them holes in that glass. One of these right here. Oh, that worked awesome, people. I mean, real neat holes. There's two different sizes, so that hole is the same size as that one, which is a little bit smaller than that one. And it just uh, worked out awesome. But I just cut I cut the front and I cut the back. And I flipped her over. But it still don't weigh very much. Okay. Then I went ahead and glued in my hinges up here. You can see them. Whoop. Tripping over them big old feet again, ain't you? Went in and glued in my hinges right there. Hooked up my air cylinder. Put my uh, piece on the back, you know, to a stopper. And then I came back over here to this side and uh, cut out the edges. And it's just a perfect fit. There's no lip there whatsoever. Back here, up there, nowhere. Just worked out awesome. That worked really good. And uh, I'll put my inner piece in there now. It's ready for that. I wanted to show you them hinges. But this is all coming out awesome. But then once I started building that, okay, anytime you build something like this, oh, I got less than a minute. I gotta go. Anytime you build something like this, you don't want to just put your board there and start building on top of it. Because uh, you'll end up with, with it not shutting all the way so you got to put something in there so i took a thin piece of plywood and i put in there then i put my board on here and traced new sticks i went eighth inch plywood around here and got each one to cut fit perfect i glued one on then i could pull it out sand it put it on there take my fiberglass piece stick it on there and get it perfect go to that one go to that one go to that one put me a couple ribs in long piece of half inch balsa that goes top to bottom right here because that's where I'm going to put my horn okay piece of quarter inch plywood on the back left my lip 
Chicken's like, this ain't glued up here.